anyone currently renting or looking to rent a property knows that prices are volatile to say the least. Right now, rental rates are pretty high, which leaves tenants wondering, when will the rent prices go down? In this video, we discuss what is driving these increases, along with what to expect for the rest of 2022. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here from Bay Property Management Group. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on exclusive content. With that said, let's jump into today's video. In the past year, the cost of rent has increased by 4% across the United States, with many local markets seeing an even larger jump. So why has rent increased so much over the last year? Well, let's take a look at a few factors. Higher home prices. When the price of homes increases, the rent price inevitably increases as well. After all, most landlords determine rental prices by charging a small percentage of their home's overall value. For example, if a home is valued at $150,000, the landlord could charge anywhere from $1,000 to $1,750 for each month. That said, as the prices of homes continue to increase throughout 2022, rental prices will also increase. Lower rental home inventory. Low inventory is not only an issue for home buyers, but also for prospective renters. Without an abundance of rental home options, landlords can set a competitive monthly rate for their rentals. As a result, most landlords see the opportunity to charge higher rates. Few people are moving out of their rentals without as much housing inventory available. As such, this allows landlords to increase rental rates for their current tenants due to low availability elsewhere. Growing demand for certain demographics. As the demand for rental housing grows for certain demographics, the rental prices will likely increase. For example, age groups like millennials or baby boomers are more willing to live in a rental than maintain their own home. This is most likely because millennials are more focused on their career and development personally rather than maintaining a large home and land. On the other hand, baby boomers are reaching an age where they cannot properly take care of a large home and yard. Therefore, most people reaching retirement age are looking to downsize into a lower maintenance rental property. And the aftermath of the eviction moratorium. The eviction moratorium that took place during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic caused a lot of changes for both landlords and renters. During this time, landlords could not evict the tenants for non-payment of rent. This caused huge losses for property owners and investors as they had to continue paying their mortgage, taxes, utilities, and maintenance costs. Many rental rates rose as landlords and investors tried to recoup losses after the moratorium ended. On the other hand, many investors chose to sell off their rentals to get out of the continuous losses, causing an even more strained supply of available homes. Now, it's clear that rental rates are rising rapidly, but when will the rent prices go down? Unfortunately, this question is harder to answer, and research provides a few suggestions. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the housing market has seen significant highs and major lows. For example, we've witnessed record high home prices with record low mortgage rates and extremely low home availability. That said, a few factors could allow increasing rental rates to slow down. Number one, can supply catch up with demand? One factor that could affect rental rates is housing supply and demand. Throughout 2021 and into this year, we've experienced a considerable increase in demand without the supply to keep up. In turn, this has allowed landlords to set prices higher and create competitive markets. However, if the supply can catch up with the demand, renters can expect rental rates to decrease in the upcoming year. And number two, will more people purchase homes? With skyrocketing rent prices and low rental unit supply, will this drive more people to purchase homes instead? Although buying a home is a goal for many people, the current housing market makes it difficult. If inventory increased, buyers would have greater options and sellers would be forced to be more competitive in their pricing. This would help the rental market as well. However, as of right now, it looks like many people find more value in renting than in purchasing a home at such high prices. Navigating high rent prices can be frustrating and seemingly unfair for renters just looking for somewhere reasonable to live. However, there are some ways for prospective renters to learn about the housing market and make savvy decisions for the future. Understanding current market trends. The first step to finding a decent rental home is understanding current housing market trends. Before quickly deciding on a place to live, do some research first. Right now, rental rates are highly competitive, so it's crucial to seek out all of the options before making a rash decision. Similarly, when you understand the current housing trends, you can better understand why your landlord may increase the rent 
or decline to lower your monthly rate. And save money while renting. If you can't afford to purchase a home quite yet, you have the opportunity to save money while living in a rental unit. Although rent prices are currently high, the costs of purchasing a home are even higher. So while you live in a rental home, try to spend money wisely and save what's left over if you can. Then in the long run, if you desire to purchase a house, you'll have some money set aside for a down payment. Additionally, there are other ways you can potentially save money while renting. For example, work with your landlord. If you offer to do some essential maintenance, such as mowing the lawn or fixing unexpected issues around the unit, you could save your landlord money. In return, they could knock off some money off your monthly rent since they didn't have to hire someone to do the maintenance. For more advice on a variety of other issues important to the rental industry, subscribe to the Bay Property Management Group channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exclusive content. Also, be sure to check out our blog via the link in the description below for more helpful tenant tips along with everything from home maintenance to security deposit advice. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.